Fredericktown football has long prided itself on a smash mouth brand of physical football. That's why it was so hard last year for head coach Shannon Henson to abandon his beloved I formation in favor of the en vogue spread offense. But after starting the year 0-3, something had to be done. Quarterback Jeremy Greminger is back to operate out of the spread. Coach Henson says that Greminger and his teammates possess the skills that just makes the spread make sense for Fredericktown. We had a lot of kids, uh, you know, that we felt like could do some good things offensively. Uh, uh, we just didn't feel like that, that we were a type of team that could handle eight, nine people in the box. And uh, with the inexperience we had in the offensive line and, and just through the course of the first three games, we kind of figured out that Jeremy does a lot of good things with his feet. So, we, you know, he's, he's kind of a fullback type build, but he is our quarterback. So uh, we discovered in this offense offense that, that we can allow him to kind of play that tailback position in a way and still compliment him with some other good, good guys. Uh, uh, James Royer, who, who plays the other running back position, and, and, and Reed Roberts. And I know last year we used Jake Crocus and, and Justin Sawyer and uh, Zach Proffer last year. And those guys did some good things running the football. So as long as we got a guy next to him to compliment him, I think he'll be all right. Senior Jake Karokas explains what specialized work the team has put in in the offseason. Skill like turning the hips, working on cuts, agility stuff, and hopefully you'll see that this year. Who's been throwing you the ball in the summer? Jeremy Griminger. How's he look? He's looking pretty good. <laughs> really good. Coach Henson says with a complete offseason to work on it, Fredericktown is way ahead of where they were at this point a year ago. Last year, we, we you know, at this point in time, we were an eye offensive football team and, and kind of made that switch about a uh, third game of the season. So we feel like we're definitely ahead of, ahead of the game with as far as our kids and their knowledge and, and understanding the concepts of what we're trying to do. And Karokas says the change not only made the offense more potent, but it also injected some life into the players. I guess the eye wasn't working for us, so we ch kind of changed in the middle of the season. And we just got better as we progressed over the season. Was it more fun? Yeah, yeah. A new thing. It was just fun. <laughs> yeah, moving me outside, you know, from fullback to wide receiver. I had a lot of fun. Henson stresses, though, that the change in offense doesn't mean that the Black Cats have changed their principles. Even though we've changed some things we do offensively, we still want to be physical on defense and sound on special teams. And, and offensively, we want to be physical, too. And we kind of teach our kids that, uh, you know, we've kind of got to have that hammer mentality that uh, we're going to get after people and be physical for four quarters and be a disciplined, hard-nosed football team. While Fredericktown finished last season with a losing record at 4-7, and seven, the Black Cats went 2-1 and one in district play and qualified for the playoffs. Our first two district games were our best football. We kind of peaked at that point in time. Uh, I went in that last uh, game at a district championship game, and I think a little bit of inexperience came out. Long ride to Dexter and uh, turned the ball over four or five times in that ball game, and things didn't go well. And We were really beat up. Uh, we, I think we were out five or six starters um, when we went down to St. Genevieve, so didn't put on the showing we wanted to do going down there, but I think uh, you know, it left a good taste in our kids' mouths, and they knew that, 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 that a season that at one point in time uh, didn't look like uh, it was going to well, look like it was going to be bleak and, and uh, kids came together and, and uh, we figured out what we could and couldn't do and uh, grew as a football team and you know like we said we've got a lot of those kids coming back so uh, we've got high expectations for the season. Fredericktown returns seven to eight starters on both sides of the ball but Henson says that doesn't give them any automatic victories. You can't look at that and just assume things are going to go well because if you look at everybody we play, everybody's kind of in the same boat. I think last year a lot of teams were sophomore and junior heavy, um, and, and so everybody's got high expectations. So you look at our schedule, we got a tough schedule, and, and all those teams, every team on our schedule is, is looking to get better. So, you know, it's we're going to have to take care of the little things and, and show up every day with the right frame of mind and work and, and, and do the things that the good football teams do. And, you know, each of those games are going to be 50-50 games. And, 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 you know, we're just going to have to take care of business and, and see who comes out on top. While the Fredericktown offense will try to attack the entire field, the defense is preparing for other offenses to do the same. Karokas plays linebacker on D and is part of a unit that has been working on its versatility. He'll move me out to play some coverage, cornerback a little bit. So I guess wherever they need me, I'll play, and hopefully it will be tough this year. The Black Cats went 8-2 and two four years ago, but didn't make the playoffs. Since that time, Fredericktown has been unable to equal that record, but they made the state brackets three straight seasons. Coach Henson still hasn't decided on what he thinks of the new playoff system where everyone goes to the postseason. I don't know yet. Um, you know, I think with uh, if you're a team, you know, such as, let's say, St. Genevieve, that, you know, they have several district championships over the last 20 years, you know, it, it might not mean much to them, but I, I think when you eliminate half the district championships, a team like Fredertown, who, you know, we got 20 something years between district championships, you know, it, it's a prize for us. You know, uh, um, you know obviously you got to win those games anyway. If you want to get where you want to be, 
but you still got to have things to build on. And I think teams that struggle, that's going to hurt teams to struggle because it, it, it just takes them, you know, a couple of steps away from, from winning that district championship. Frederick Town finished in the middle of the MAAA White last year at 2-3. and three. The Black Hats travel to Kennett to start the season this year, and they'll return home to welcome Hillsboro in Week 2. I'm Chad Speaker for Regional Radio Sports.